Hi, I'm Brandon Chase. I'm sitting down and talks with countrymusicrocks.net. All right. We're here at CRS 2014, and we're sitting down with Brandon Chase. How are you? How is your CRS going so far? It's going so amazing. Um, I'm so overwhelmed. Just, It's so crazy. This is my first CRS. Um, people are just walking around, and, you know, people you hear on the radio, and, you know, you, they're just approachable. You can just go meet them, and... Um, you know, all the, the radio DJs that you hear, you hear their voices, and now you get to see their face and, and be able to, to meet them in person. It's just, it's been incredible so far. <laughs> um, for folks that haven't gotten to know you yet, and I know you have quite the story to tell, give us a little Brandon Chase 101. Um, well, I, I was recently on The Voice, and, and if you were able to see that, um, you get to see a little bit of my backstory, and that was me as a baby. I, I, I grew up uh, two days old, right after I was born, I, I experienced a lot of complications. Mm -hmm. And um, ultimately, I stopped breathing 64 times in 12 hours. And the doctors told my parents to expect the worst. That would probably never be normal. I could possibly be blind, deaf, um, mentally mentally challenged. Would never be able to play sports. That was out of the question. Um, would be very slow learning in school and, and just on and on. <laughs> um, be on machines for, for quite a bit of my life. And... Uh, long story short, God completely healed me, and um, I'm able to, to stand and walk today and, and be completely normal, and I feel so blessed to, to be able to, to do what I love, to be able to sing and, and to bring a message to people, more than just um, me loving to sing, but me bringing a message to them to say anything is possible. You can do anything. No matter where you started, no matter where you come from, no matter what your background is, the sky's the limit. You can do it. Now, you're gearing up to release your debut single. Tell us a little bit, little bit about that. What can fans expect? Um, it's definitely different from anything I've released so far. So if, if you've heard any of my, my recent music, um, my Country Enough EP, my Unplugged EP, um, this is totally different. The production is, is really awesome. Uh, the producer is Sean Giovanni with The Record Shop, and he's done an amazing job. Uh, we have the first three songs done. But this first single is called One. <laughs> we thought it was appropriate and in many ways, uh, the title being a little uh, ironic, being the, the very first mm -hmm. you know, real radio single. But we thought that was really, really awesome and special as well. But uh, it's just a, it's a great song. It's an up-tempo. We wanted it to come out with a, a high-energy song, and you know, that's what this is. And um, It's just a fun, fun track. <laughs> okay. um, now, as you mentioned recently, you were on The Voice. Tell us a little bit about that. What was that experience like for you? Um, it was just every experience you can think of, honestly. It was just so overwhelming at so many different times. Um, you know, being able to, to stand one in the same room with, you know, Blake and Adam and, and Christina and CeeLo. And then to, on the other hand, just to be able to, to be in a room with just Blake mm -hmm. and then Blake and Cher and being able to just hear what they've gone through and what they've experienced in the industry and being able to, to listen to what, what works and what doesn't work and um, getting their insight and, you know, being able to apply that to my career as I'm moving forward. So it's just it was just an amazing, overwhelming experience. Each time I got on the stage, it was just nerve-wracking because, you know, you're about to perform ultimately in front of millions of people. So it, it was just any any anything you can think of. I, I had all the emotions going around, the stress, the, the tension, the excitement, just all of it. <laughs> so during your TV audition, did you have to kind of tune everything out, especially like when, like when Blake turned around and then CeeLo? Because, I mean, you finished flawlessly, so it, did you just tune everything out that was going on? Uh, yeah, you know, every, my mind was going crazy until I walked to the stage. And as soon as I got to the stage, I kind of just tuned everything out. And I just, you know, I was like, this is my moment. I got to go for it. I can't, I can't let these nerves mm -hmm. get to me. I can't. I can't let it affect my performance, and uh, <laughs> I'm playing the song. Next thing I know, like I, time has just not no time has gone by. Mm -hmm. I I felt like I just got on the stage, and next thing I know, Blake has turned around. And he's looking at me, and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> because like that was the moment. Like you know, no matter what happens at the end of this song, even if I just crash and burn the rest of the way, I'm on the show. You know, so it was just so so rewarding. And then Seal turns around and. And uh, it was just like, oh, wow, now I have, like, an option, you know. <laughs> it was just it was so, so cool and so surreal. And it was just such an incredible opportunity that I was just so blessed from the beginning to end.
Now, 2014 is already off to a great start for you. What are some of your goals and plans and some things you're really looking forward to this year? Um, you know, I'm so excited about this first single. Um, I, I feel like it's going to do really well. Um, it's it's going out to the radio, and um, I, I really believe that it's going to pick up and, and get, get some traction on radio. And, um, you know, my ultimate goal this year is to start touring. You know, I want I want to visit the fans wherever they are, you know, um, this side of the state, that side of the state, um, of, the, of the U.S. I want to, I want to travel. I want to, I want to play live and I want to, I want to meet my fans and, and be able to, to show them that I care and love them, not just on social media, but, but in person as well. Cause I think that's important. If there was one thing that you, you could convey to fans about you and your music, what would it be? Um, you know, like I said in the beginning, I anything is possible. And, and that's, that's what I really want to, to tell, you know, if you have a dream, you can chase it. You can do it. You know, if you work hard and you push yourself and you don't let anybody tell you you can't, mm -hmm. that that is one thing. If somebody tells you that, just forget it. For, pretend like you didn't even hear it because I can't. It, it's not a phrase. It's not a sentence. It's not a statement. It is. It's a. It's an opinion, and it, it's it's false. It's a false statement. And um, I, I truly believe you can literally do anything as long as you set your mind to it, set your heart to it and just go after it. Now, country music is consistently evolving. It's growing. What is it that you love most about this genre? Um, yeah, it, it is continually changing and continually to obviously stick to its roots. And that, that's what I really love about it. You know, no matter how the genre expands, it's still in that same root of it's about the song and it's about the story but these sounds, it's, the sound is continuing to expand and continuing to grow and new elements are being placed in, but it's still country music. It's still a, a storytelling genre, and that's what I love so much about it. And we're here at CRS. It's a week all about country radio. What's one song that when it does come on the radio, you just have to crank it up? Oh, gosh. Uh, I Right now, Keith Urban is my, my all-time favorite. He is, uh, he's my biggest influence. And I just love Cop Car. That is, it is awesome. The first time I heard it on the record, I was just like, wow, this is an incredible track. Um, and on, it is so cool because uh, my first single one, um, Zach Crowell, which was one of the writers on one, on Cop Car, mm -hmm. he wrote, he was one of the writers on one. So um, I, I, from the very first moment I, I knew that, I was like, man, this is really, really cool. Um, <laughs> and it, yeah, it's just, it's cool. <laughs> no, it's, it's definitely a great song. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. I wish you the best of luck with your debut single and can't wait to hear it. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking with you. You as well.